Hi there, my name's Joy. I post every week about minimalism, mum life, kind of just trying to get my house in order, lots of decluttering and all sorts of things like that. And today is gonna be a decluttering day. So yeah, this morning I was looking in my cupboard and I saw this. Now it's a lovely coat, it's, it's floor length, it's really good quality and thick. It was my mum's and she was gonna get rid of it and I saw her doing that and I pulled it out of the charity shop bag and went, oh, I'll have a look at that. It's really wide, it's too wide on the shoulders for me. But I was like, oh, I could like adjust the shoulders and bring them in. But then if I do that, the arms are gonna be too short. So I was like, well, I could put a bit round there. And I am a crafty person. That is something that is probably within my possibilities but i'm a mum and the time to do that is something that is out of the realms of possibility so yeah so as much as i love the idea of this and i think it'd be a really nice coat and it's a really good quality piece um, it has just been sitting in my cupboard since i pulled it out of someone else's charity shop bag and yes I shouldn't have done that and now it is time for me just to accept that and let it go. So it got me thinking I wonder what else is in my house that shouldn't be here. I work well with numbers so I'm going to challenge myself and do a 21 thing fling. So I've done one of these before on this channel uh, but basically it is just running around the house and trying to find 21 things, bits of clutter and all that sort of stuff that no longer need, no longer adding value to our life and that we can pass on. So if I don't put a number to it, then I'll just like find one or two pieces like the coat or something and put it in a donation pile and think, oh yeah, I've done a great job. But if I say, right, I've got to find 21 things, it forces me to go and look in all those little places that I've kind of just been blocking out or ignoring. And yeah, really kind of pushes you to find things to get rid of. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So yeah, since this is coat, the first thing I'm going to do is tackle the coat closet. I knew this was a bad area. I just hadn't stopped to go through it. So I have pulled out all of these. So some little slippers, a coat that no longer fits, a black scarf. I recently kind of sorted out my wardrobe and I've got a lot of black. And yeah, if I'm wearing a black dress with a black jacket, I'm not gonna team it with a black scarf. So yeah, that can go. Um, some shoes that are too small, gloves that are just a bit dirty and grubby, and I've got another pair, so I don't need two. And some boots that are very past their sell-by date. I don't even think they're worth charity shopping. I think those ones have to go straight in the bin, but they'd be well-loved. So. Yeah, that is all the things that I have pulled out of our coat closet. And they were just sitting as we came in. That's where we put all our shoes and everything. And just, yeah, all that extra stuff taking up space. And it is a precious commodity in that cupboard. So that's really good to have a few things out. Lurking in the back of my kitchen cupboards, you can just see it. I have this tagine, which I've kept because I love it and it's gorgeous. But... I don't use it that often. So yes, I am going to let that one go. I have also pulled out these two pots. Um, our kids like to have their beans in these, but these two are chipped, so they are going. Going through my junk drawer. Yes, I know that is shameful. But yeah, it's a job for another day. Today I've just pulled out a few things. Some bubbles that are nearly empty. They can go. An old hair clip I don't use. Two bullets for a Nerf gun. We don't own, an, own a Nerf gun. And just some, yeah, actual rubbish. From the bathroom cabinet, I have found a travel size moisturiser, which, yeah, have no use for. And some out of date contact lens solution. So they are going. This is a tough one. It's a Christmas present. 
Now, yeah, getting rid of the actual item itself is not tough. It's some teaspoons that aren't really our style. Um, lovely thought, but yeah, um, I'm quite happy to pass the, the physical thing on. It's just the kind of, oh, I feel bad because I was given it. But I'm sure they wouldn't want us holding on to it for the sake of it. And I'm going to let someone else have them who's actually going to really love them and enjoy them. Again, this is a job that I haven't quite gotten round to. So these are, there's three of them, three little china cups, which again was a project that I was going to fix them, but I haven't fixed them. They are broken. I'm in the nursery for the last item and I've pulled out a baby grow, but it's not just one. There's one, one, two, three. All the same, don't use any of them. They are gonna go. And I have found 21 things in our house that we just don't need and I can free up that space. Uh, yeah, I've got a big bin bag full, so that's actually quite a lot of space. And now I'm off to go have a coffee and a sit down and yeah, just enjoy my freshly decluttered. Thanks again and I'll see you later. Bye.